Throughout the history of human civilization, countless works of art have been produced, innumerable stories have been recorded, an infinite number of artists have lived and died for their craft. Some have gained acclaim within their lifetimes, while the legacies of others were not appreciated until after their deaths. This may seem a daunting reality to consider when trying to break into the world of art, but there's a dimension perhaps more tragic than the uphill battle every artist faces, the loss or destruction of the works they leave behind. As sure as the sun rises, and as sure as humankind creates through our industriousness, we're sure to lose these fruits of our labors. Whether due to destruction, or war, or ideology, the undervaluing of a work's importance, or the mere lack of exposure, it's hard to say just how many pieces of art have been lost to time. Since as long ago as the burning of the Library of Alexandria between the 1st and 4th centuries in which the largest collection of ancient documents known to the world was lost, these types of losses have been suffered. Luckily, seemingly as long as art has gone missing, there has been a movement, however small, by those individuals seeking the holy grails of various fields. Rare book collectors in centuries past sought manuscripts not often seen by the human eye. Catalogers of film in the 20th century hunted down films fabled to be lost or destroyed. Today, this movement has found its natural home on the internet, the place where all niche subcultures tend to flourish and grow their numbers. At present, anyone seeking out pieces of missing art will likely find themselves perusing the Lost Media Wiki, opened and maintained by Dicate. Today's subject, the 1968 black and white film known in the West as Cruel Ghost Legend, was long thought to be a victim of time. A hunt for the film was initiated once the wiki was alerted to its existence, but it was made known that no copies of it were available. In 2014, this was remedied when several internet users collaborated to uncover, rip, upload, and subtitle the film. Today, we're looking at the story behind the loss and rediscovery of Cruel Ghost Legend, a fascinating tale that shows both how fragile media can be and how dedicated lost media hunters working today are. Cruel Ghost Legend, released in 1968, was directed by Kazuo Hase, a name that remains relatively, if not entirely, unknown in the Western world. During the 1960s through the 1980s, Hase worked on a number of films both for television and theatrical distribution, with such titles as Temptation by Night and two entries in the television film series Kyotaru Nishimura's Travel Mystery. You would be forgiven for never having heard of Hase. The screenwriter for Cruel Ghost Legend, on the other hand, was a bit higher profile. Masashige Narusawa had, by 1968, worked with such major names as Ishiro Honda and Kenji Mizoguchi. In the same year, he would also adapt the Kinji Fukusaku film Black Lizard, that film being based on a Yukio Mishima play, which was in turn based on a novel by Erogawa Ranpo. Cruel Ghost Legend was similar to Black Lizard in that it was not Narusawa's original idea. The novel upon which the film was based was penned by Renzaburo Shibata. Shibata was an extremely prolific author working between 1938 and his death in 1978. He was known perhaps best for his period dramas, a series of which, Nemori Kyoshiro, were adapted again and again between the 1950s and the 1980s. After being drafted into the Imperial Japanese Army during World War II, Shibata returned home and resumed his career as an author. He was nominated in 1951 for the Akutagawa Prize, one of the most prestigious Japanese literary awards. While Shibata did not win the Akutagawa, he took home the Naoki Prize, an equally important literature award, in 1952. Over the rest of his time writing, Shibata had more novels and stories adapted for television and the big screen with Cruel Ghost Legend being only one among many. Cruel Ghost Legend is in keeping with Shibata's interest in period drama, though as you may have surmised by the title, it is tinged with a splash of horror. The film revolves around a blood curse placed upon a family by a blind acupuncturist. In Edo period Japan, a corrupt samurai lord attempts to bribe said acupuncturist with the promise of sex with his wife. As the medicine man refuses the advances, the lord grows enraged and murders the blind man, but only after this man verbally dooms the lord's entire family. Ten years later, we join the lord's children, as they deal with the fallout of their father's wrongdoings. The film is structured almost like an anthology film in this way, being split into several small stories that compose the entire family's narrative. Really, without giving away any of the finer points of the film's narrative, we can't say much more. 
With the film being available both on YouTube and archive.org, meaning that it's available to anyone interested, we would rather not spoil the proceedings much more. If you're interested in seeing some 1960s psychedelic special effects, a tale of karmic retribution, or a morality tale detailing how everyone in this universe is two-faced, Cruel Ghost Legend will likely be up your alley. That being said, we'd like to take the rest of this video's runtime to examine the story behind the film's rediscovery, and to question why it went missing in the first place. We got in touch with Dicate about Cruel Ghost Legend, seeing as how the article on the Lost Media Wiki doesn't give much information about the search for the film. He was kind enough to provide us with an interview, as well as being an in-between with the person responsible for ripping and uploading the film to the internet. With the help of these two, we were able to learn more about Cruel Ghost Legend's journey over the past few years. According to Dicate, the article on the Lost Media Wiki was first published in January 2014 by Wikia user Elastic Dog. As Dicate put it, quote, Being interested in Japanese cinema in general, I decided to initiate a search for the film on private torrent tracker Cinemageddon, where I eventually met someone in Japan with access to the tape who was willing to rip and provide it, on the condition that I kept his identity private, end quote. This would indicate that while the film is notable for its status as presumed lost in January 2014, it was Elastic Dogs and Dicate's initiative that helped propel the search for the film forward. Rather than this being a notable film from a well-known director, it was simply a happenstance that led to the following developments. The anonymous user mentioned before told us that just as coincidentally, they happened to see Dicate's request on Cinemageddon and know where to find the film. As they said during our email exchange, quote, it was for rent at the Shibuya branch of the video chain rental Tsutaya in Tokyo. It was a VHS tape from the late 1980s or early 1990s. I saw Dicate's request on CG and checked for it at the video store." End quote. The uploader went on to state that they had no prior knowledge of director Kazuo Hase, nor any particular interest in lost media at large, but that the film was more enjoyable than they had expected. Two months after Elastic Dog's original article was created, Dicate posted an update stating that the film had been uncovered, ripped from VHS to digital, and uploaded to YouTube. Not long after, another online user translated and provided English subtitles for the film. And with that, we are brought up to speed on the history and rediscovery of Cruel Ghost Legend. The film now exists in a format that anyone who speaks English or Japanese can view, which, again, we encourage our viewers to do. Remarkably, this series of events shows us how vast the world truly is, and how much we might take for granted in terms of lost media. Despite how obscure the film was just a few years back, it's now readily available. If it weren't for the internet and a chance encounter between Dicate and this anonymous uploader, who knows how long Cruel Ghost Legend might have languished in obscurity. It's truly a fascinating story and makes one wonder just how many other films like this are out there, just waiting to be rediscovered. We would like to give a colossal thank you to Dicate for all of their help with putting together this video. Without their insight into the path to rediscovering Cruel Ghost Legend and their assistance in contacting the anonymous uploader, we wouldn't have been able to bring the full story to you. Please be sure to check out the Lost Media Wiki for countless more entries on various lost media, from movies to TV shows, video games, audio, music, literature, and more. If this is your cup of tea, we're positive you'll get lost within the archives of the Lost Media Wiki. Heck, why not become a member and see if you have any interesting tidbits about lost media? Or maybe you could even assist in searches for lost media. Keep an eye out, everyone, as you can never be sure just what you'll come across.